question number 9 this is transformation question the diagram shows four shapes a b c d a part describe fully the single transformation that maps shape a on to shape b so first part is shape a on to shape b so we will check shape a on to shape b we will take help of the tracing paper and this is the tracing paper you can use this tracing paper in exam as well and what we will do we will we'll draw this one like this completely we are drawing shape a and after drawing this one we can put here pencil and rotate this and we will check this is we are rotating this one the, up to here is angle 90 degree and once more it will be 180 degree and it's fitting on b exactly so center of rotation will be this point and it will be rotation 90 degree again if we start from here start from here center of rotation is here where i'm putting the pencil and starting from this point to this one is 90 degree and further 90 degree means 180 over here so it's rotation uh, clockwise rotation of 180 degree and the center of rotation we will check here this one is center of rotation and x is we will check this is 6 x value is 6 and y value is 7 so we will write answer for part 1 a1 we will write it is rotation it's a rotation rotation 180 degree and center of rotation we can write center at 6 7 so this will be our answer <coughs> shape c so now shape c shape a on to shape c so we'll again check shape a on to shape c so same tracing paper we can use this is shape a and it is changing to shape c so if we check from this point to this point these are 1 2 3 4 units so in between will be this point which is 2 units if i remove tracing paper this will be two units over here from this side two units from this side and this can be the mirror line mirror line can be this one this one will be the mirror line and see everything is two units from this line which is and this line is x is equal to 1 so we can write x is equal to 1 this line is mirror line which is x is equal to 1 and this drawing is exactly mirrored on this side reflection you can write or you can write mirror about x is equal to 1 so we will write the answer for part 2 this is reflection reflection and the line is x is equal to 1 and third part is shape d so shape a on to shape d 
we will check shape A onto shape D. So shape A onto shape D. If we check, this is uh, this side is one unit. This one is one unit, while this one is two units. Similarly, this is two unit. This one is one, two, three, four units. This is two units. This one is four units. So everything is enlarged by a factor of two. So this is enlargement by scale factor two. Enlargement by scale factor two. So now we can find center of enlargement for center of enlargement we will be drawing lines for example we'll be joining this corner with this corner of this shape and we will join this one like this similarly we will join this line with this and we can even join this corner with this one so you can see all the corners are meeting at this point so even you can join this corner also with this corner this corner with this corner so all the corners are joining at this point so enlarge center of enlargement is this point and position vector for position uh, coordinates ordered pair coordinates for this point are 6 and 11 so 6 11 are the coordinates for this one so we will write answer for this d part d part is this so we'll write this is enlargement enlargement and center of enlargement is 611 and scale factor is 2 we can write scale factor 2 B part on the grid draw the image of shape A after a translation by the vector minus 3 and 2 minus 3 is x value this one is x value and this one is y value so minus 3 and 2 we will uh, uh, change we will translate this drawing by minus 3 and 2 so i will write vector here minus 3 and 2 we will translate a we have to translate a by minus 3 and 2 so we'll have to move this drawing minus 3 mean uh, so 1 minus 3 mean down uh, x value will be left so 1 2 3 left and 2 up so 1 2 so this point will be at Now this point will be 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, it will reach here. Similarly, this point will be 1, 2, 3 and 1 and 2, this point will reach here. So we will be getting these points. Similarly, this point will be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and 1 and two so corner this corner will reach here now the upper corner minus one minus two minus three then one and two so our drawing will shift over here by the scale if i draw the drawing by the help of scale so new location of a will be this one this will be the new location after translation by 
minus 3 and 2. So this is a. I will write here a dash or a prime which is after translation by the vector minus 3 and 2. <coughs> now this one B part is done, C part. Which shapes, if any, are congruent to shape D? Give reason for your answer. So we will check congruence, congruence of shape D. We will check congruence of shape D. Shape D is this one, which is the bigger shape. And this is shape D. And we can see all the shapes are smaller in size and this D shape is bigger in size so no shape is congruent to shape D so we'll write answer as no shape no shape is con Guru and to shape D reason because no shape is of size D, no shape is of size. Question number 4. Draw the reflection of triangle T in the line x is equal to 0. So x is equal to 0 is y axis. Basically this is the line which is x is equal to 0. This one. So x is 0 at y axis. So we will have to draw the reflection of T in the line x is equal to 0. So what we will do, we will use this tracing paper, this one for transformation, this will be helpful. So we will mark the coordinate axis, this is our coordinate axis, this is our coordinate axis and this is the triangle T, we will draw triangle T after drawing this triangle T, now we have to reflect it. The reflection of T in the line x is equal to 0. So we will invert this one. So we can we can invert this like this one. So we are just changing the side of the tracing paper so new position will be this one so we'll mark the uh, mark the points on the graph paper so our points will be these three points after marking we can draw the triangle by the help of scale now this is the transformed triangle which is uh, the reflection of triangle T in the line x is equal to 0. So we can mark it as T dash. So this will be the reflection. And then second part draw the rotation of uh, triangle T about minus 2 and minus 1 through 90 degree and it is clockwise so again we will use the tracing paper and this is the triangle which we have already drawn and utilized for our part one now we'll have to draw the rotation of triangle 
t the same triangle about minus 2 and minus 1 if we check our coordinate axis minus 2 is here and minus 1 is here so this will be our center of rotation so keeping center of rotation fixed we will be uh, rotating it clockwise these are the coordinate axis so which we have already drawn so i'm just extending extending the coordinate axis now this is our center of rotation which is mentioned in the question minus 2 and minus 1 and 90 degree clockwise so 90 i'm rotating it clockwise clockwise will be this direction so this is about to reach to 90 degree and this one will be 90 degree clockwise and our new location will be these three points so we can mark these three points now if we remove this one so or new location will be this one now we can draw the triangle by the help of scale this will be a rotated triangle now this is a rotated triangle and if we want to check the coordinates of this rotated triangle this point is uh, minus 3 and 1 so we can write the coordinates minus 3 and 1 and this is minus 6 and 1 so we can write here minus 6 and 1 and third point is having coordinates of minus 6 and minus 1 so i will write here minus 6 minus 1 hopefully you understood everything now the last part b part of the same question is describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle t on to triangle u they have provided us triangle u and triangle t this is the triangle t and this is transforming to this one so we can see it is just translating from one location to another so uh, if we check this corner this point and this point it is moving one unit right so x axis right will be plus so we will uh, we can if we have to write the mat matrix form it so it will be one unit right and then this point is moving 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 9 units up so up will be positive so 9 we are taking right as positive left as negative up as positive and down as negative so matrix will be 1 and 9 and we can write answer here as transformation is translation translation by matrix 1 and 9 right in brackets